But Ed Reed visited Deion Sanders in Colorado football and get, kind of gave a speech to the team. I kind of want to show at least part of it here, so take a listen. Oh, he's like, I'm coming, Brian. I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I got to see him. I got to see him. I got to look at him. Ed Reed got him. <laughs> Good day. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? Good. Football is war. Y'all army. You know that, right? <laughs> Do you really know that? It's war. Violent. Physical. You can die. Y'all know that? Huh? Speak up. It's serious out here. You understand? You can die playing this game. So your mind got to be right. You got to be physically ready to play this game. You can't be tired. You got to have the energy to go out there today to do this thing the right way. That means you got to recover the night before. That means you got to do it again the next day, the next play, the next week. Are y'all prepared for that? Sure. So I ask y'all, where do y'all want to go as a team? Where y'all want to go? What's the goal? Everybody got the glamour and glitz. Everybody got good cafeteria, nice uniforms. You know, everybody got Hall of Fame coaching. <laughs> I'll cut it off there. Uh, Matt, what are your thoughts on that? You know, Ed Reed is, you know, well, been that, that, first of all, that's maybe the best safety that's ever played. And I'm a huge Steve Atwater fan. But if I had to pick two, it'd probably be Steve and Ed. Um, I played against Ed and Ray and Hello Dinata and Terrell Suggs and Johnson and them boys, Bart Scott. And it was a fucking disaster all the time. Every time you played against them, it was just a shit show because they're way better than everybody and they're smarter than everyone. So you can kill that. I, I don't, They don't need to watch that. Having Ed Reed talk to you as a player, like I hope the kids in that room understand how lucky they are, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, like it, yeah. It it's to have Warren Sapp and Coach San Coach Prime as your fucking head coach, and then the Corey Phillips and I mean, it just the uh, the 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 men in the load hold. I mean, everywhere you look is another guy with his fucking pension. Oh, and we're gonna bring Ed Reed to talk to you today. Yeah. And we got Ray Lewis skyping in to talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> I, look, dude, if you're a kid in there and you want to play in the NFL and you're not fucking pouring every single minute into you getting better to go play in the NFL, you don't really want to fucking play in the NFL. So the beauty of when I played there was if you didn't do your job, they fucking replaced you with another guy who was going to the league. Mm -hmm. So now you don't do your job. We'll just replace you with a guy who's going to the fucking league who wants to go. Yeah. So, you know, when Ed Reed says it's a war, it's the closest thing to it. And you could die. That's true. I had say it all the time. That motherfucker signed liability. Why do you feel sorry for him? I said it to my kid. If you're going to do this and you don't get prepared for the, what the battle you're trying to fucking fight, you deserve to get your ass beat. And I will have zero sympathy for you. I will look at you and say you were fucking lazy and you didn't do your job. That's why you lost. Yeah, no doubt. So this is the game where you can't fake it. You can't act like you're the shit and just say you are and then go out and get your fucking ass kicked and then act like you're the shit afterwards. You're just going to get called. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you, tape don't lie, man. And, and when you have guys like Ed Reed in there spitting fucking facts like he is, I hope you're listening, everyone. Because the one kid, you know, there's one kid in the room like, who, who the fuck is this guy? Who's the, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about? That kid needs to be taken in the locker room. We need to turn the lights out and go, whoa, whoa. And maybe your trash can needs to be put on him and he needs to be beat down a little bit. He doesn't really get it. I'm not saying that's what they should do or that that's happened in the past. I'm just saying it could be a hypothetical. That's something that may happen. You know what I'm saying? There's stories. Story time, bitch. 